My name is Mattia Durier. I'm a freshman this year at Concordia, and I am a church music major. I'm in the core biology and theology class right now. I kind of had heard about the core, just kind of in passing, like, oh yeah, they're, they're pairing bio and theo, or they're, they're pairing philosophy and math, but I didn't really know anything about it. You know, when she first came in the class, that um, I don't think she, she had a good feel for what was about to happen. As she's explained it to me, you know, biology wasn't her, wasn't her the class she was looking forward to. I hated biology. I took biology my sophomore year and I never wanted to take it again. When the first thing we talked about in biology was an ancient philosopher, I was like, what is going on? <laughs> She probably came to my notice and attention within the first week. She was never too shy to ask questions. As a student, she uh, had some honest and sincere questions uh, about both uh, the subject of theology and its relationship to biology. For me, where it first came together was um, probably from the biology class. Most of the students from my biology class are also in my theology class. So we can take things that we talked about in biology and bring them over to our theology class and be like, hey, Dr. Soper said this, what, what would be your counter to that? Or what would you say from a theological standpoint? And we would get to talk about those things in class and um, just have really great discussions about it. It was a new way for me to learn. So I was really impressed, you know, with what she had to say. And not just you know taking the information and uh, repeating it back to me, but I could tell she was thinking about it. She would actually make connections to the different readings that we were that we were reading, and she was piecing together a bigger picture. She was engaged. How come science learns what they learn this way, and theology learns what they learn this way? Is it a matter of of evidence versus revelation, or is there some empirical data on both ends? So I think that was the first issue that Mattia grappled with and, and, and grappled with well. I had a few aha moments <laughs> in biology. One of the big ones was probably just seeing that God could be at the center of, of science and of our, our thinking of, about the world. I think that I'm open to other styles of learning, other um, classes that I may not have thought about before. It's, a, it's definitely good to make that change and to um, take it one step further and really demand more of yourself as a student. You know, when the objective of the core class is to engage and stimulate those kinds of conversations, then you're doing your job, even though you're not covering more of cell division, or you're not covering more of this particular protein does that in these situations. I think it's helped me grow as an individual. Biology is probably my second favorite class here at Concordia. And I've, I see biology in a completely different way than I ever did before. I understand the concepts behind it more now after taking it for a semester. Seeing the connection was actually just really, really cool. Yeah, I guess that's a good way to sum up the core. It is, it's the connections. <laughs> <laughs>